going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today's gonna be an absolutely phenomenal day. Not only is the sun shining, but we are bringing a new truck onto the channel and I've wanted one of these for the longest time. But before we get there, I gotta tell you guys something. Now, I know that this is gonna be hard for some of you to stomach, but Dream Diesel Giveaway number eight is now live. I know, I know, I kind of alluded to the fact that it was Blackjack because something big was coming and it's gonna be a massive giveaway and all these other little undertones that I had mentioned in the vlog. But, do you blame me? It's massive, what could I say? I couldn't hold myself back. It was kind of a big secret to keep. So right now, quadruple entries are live for you to get a chance to take that truck home. And there's a lot of new stuff on the website. Tumblers, shift knobs, and right now, backed by popular demand, flannels. The cold flannel's live right now, but super limited quantities, once they're gone, they're gonna be gone forever. I'm gonna make sure to grab a few of them for myself though, selfishly. This giveaway goes on for one month's time. It ends February 13th, and quadruple entries, just as a secret, will not last forever. They're actually available for one week only. Plus, backed by popular demand, those bullet antennas are live, but there's only a select number of them until they're sold out. We'll probably be restocking these though, it's just they take a little bit of time to come in. They're very nice, universal, they fit on all vehicle applications, because they have different threaded adapters for different years, makes, and models. They're awesome and they'll work with your FM radio. I'd say it's one thing. Yep. Also, another quick note. Some of you have mentioned that there hasn't been a West Coast winner and you're wondering why, or even a South Central winner. Well, that's because I have nothing to do with the drawing of the winners for this truck. We hire a third party agency that handles all of that because we have to, legally. So for those of you that say it's not fair that a West Coast winner hasn't won or somebody from Texas or even the South Central part of the United States, I understand that, but it's all completely random. So I don't really understand how that argument makes any sense. Maybe this will be the one, only time will tell. And you do miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Like I said, quadruple entries are only available for this first week and then they're gone forever. Now the new truck is literally right Right through this door. Are you guys ready to see this thing? It's been a secret that I've been hiding for about two weeks time and it's been killing me. Not only did I have to keep that a secret, but I had to keep this a secret too. So I've been driving it though and it's been great, but it's also very dirty because it's the winter time in Pennsylvania and it seems to be wet more than it is dry, so it's filthy. Meaning that I need to clean it up before I show it to you again. So, I'm ready, set, go. Boys and girls, I introduce to you a 2016 Denali Duramax LML. Welcome it to the channel. Let's just all take a moment to enjoy its company. This is the truck that I've been hiding for you guys for two weeks time and it was really hard to do, but finally the secret's out. It was kind of hard to hide. I mean, it is kind of a big truck and uh, fun fact, it was actually parked out front of my house. So I had to be extra careful to make sure that I wasn't like filming anywhere over in that general vicinity because because it, I would have given up because I would have given away the surprise. And, and then a surprise isn't a surprise if everybody knows. So like I said, this right here is a 2016 LML Duramax. 2016 was the last year for the tried and true LML powertrain before they switched to the L5P. The only difference with the L5P and the LML, aside from the fact that the motor was revised and the transmission was beefed up a little bit to handle the little bit of power that the L5P makes over the LML, it's literally just the hood scoop. That was it. So this is the last LML to ever be made and arguably, other than the LBZ fans out in the room, the LML is an iconic platform. It really wasn't all that problematic. It really didn't have many things to go wrong and honestly, it stuck around for a while. It was produced from 2011 to 2016. I believe that's actually the longest General Motors ever kept a single powertrain through multiple body redesign. The L5P might be next, but the LML still holds the record. My OGs out in the audience, you guys can remember the LML, AKA my first Chevy Duramax, was around for a long time and it was an amazing truck to have. And honestly, I missed that 
that platform, so I wanted to jump back into another one, except with a little bit of a different look. So arguably, this is kind of like the brother of my first Chevy Duramax, because it's the GMC version and it's black. Now, really cool story about the Sierra Denali. Before I had bought my 2015 LML, I actually put a down payment on a gas version of this truck right here behind me, except it was pearl white. Kind of like that one right there, except an older version. It was a 2014. But before I made that absolutely terrible decision and ended up backing out of it, I actually fell in love with this one right here. The first time I saw the Sierra Denali, I knew that I had to sell my Evo 10 to get into that platform. But I'm not a very patient person and it didn't end up working out. So this move right here is long overdue. Now this thing's pretty much got every single package, excluding the sunroof, but boys, we got a heated steering wheel. I did not have a heating steering wheel my previous LML which was one of my biggest insecurities of the truck and finally we have it and I'll tell you what it feels real nice although I have had the heated steering wheel in multiple other trucks including my current 2020 Denali. Now over the last month I've been getting these absolutely hilarious comments that are cracking me up about the fact that I should change my name from Dirty Max Jack to like Mopar Jack or Cummins Jack or whatever the case might be because I own more Dodge trucks than I did GM trucks. Well guys, we're finally balanced again. But I can't say for long because honestly, you just never know. It's all about diversity and inclusion here on this channel, ladies and gentlemen. Although I go by Dirty Max Jack, I feel like that's irrelevant to my general love for the diesel culture and diesel trucks in general. Now the color combination on this truck is easily one of my favorites. It's onyx black on the exterior with a Coco Dune interior. So it's got the light tan seats just like my previous Chevy and then the dark trim accents. I love this color combination because I feel like it's such a classy combo. Now, black on black is probably the classiest, but I've always been a fan of the alternative interior color, which is why I decided to go this route. Now, the truck is essentially completely stock right now, aside from the fact that they did throw a ton out cover on it, and the previous owner did also install an air dog lift pump, which is pretty cool. You can't see it. Usually, it would be like kind of like right in this general area, but they actually decided to do the incognito installation, so it's tucked up here here up in front of the fuel tank. Now this to me was extremely relieving to find out as the one potential flaw of the LML is the injection pump. It was the CP 4.2 made by Bosch and it wasn't, and it was kind of a bust. They since changed that to the HP 4 on the new L5 P's because of the quote failure rate on these injection pumps. But one of the two best insurance policies that you can put in place to prevent anything from happening or potentially corrupting that pump is a lift pump because it removes all the contaminants or any potential contaminants from your fuel and prohibits them from getting to the pump which could then result in failure. One of the contaminants being water. If there's condensation in fuel and it gets to that pump, that pump is so dependent upon lubricity that it could shatter into a gazillion pieces. Now there's also a small little screen that you can install into the pumps. That's also a very good preventative measure, but to see that this thing had a lift pump, I was very pleased. It feels so awesome to be back in the LML platform because of the nostalgia associated with it. Because my Chevy was pretty much the truck that started the crazy world that I live in today. So you might be asking yourself, what are you gonna be doing to this truck, Jack? And my only answer to that right now is I honestly have no idea. Although I already have ordered a set of wheels. So I guess that kind of has a little bit to do with it. But there's a lot of other things that go into a specific build of my style that I'm not sure if I do or don't want to do. We have an incredible platform that really doesn't need that much. I mean, this truck is already an absolute pleasure to drive in every way, shape and form, except for the fact that it doesn't have tint. So we'll definitely be getting a tint in. I'm thinking probably 5%. I don't like to tint the windshields because I like to see at night, especially when my family's in the car. When it's me, I'm just kind of like, all right, whatever. But when I have my family in the car, it's a little bit of a different story. And uh, tint on the windshield makes that a little unsafe, in my opinion. So we'll probably go with a brow and uh, we'll probably get that done sometime here soon. But I do want to make 2020 about stepping a little bit out of my comfort zone. I feel like blackjack is a great start to that because it's lifted and it's got a bigger tire than I've ever owned in the past. And trust me, I've bought a lot of tires. So I I feel like this truck has the potential to go up and look extremely good, stay level and look incredible, or go low and also do a great job of looking really good. I've hit on a few design styles already with kind of the leveled look. I've hit the lifted look and Honestly, there are some in the lowered look that do great things for the eye. So I'm not really sure exactly what I want to do yet. I kind of need to spend some time working through one of the funnest parts of the build, which is the conceptualization and design build phase. That's when we're sitting back on a computer, generally drinking coffee because I love coffee, and trying to figure out exactly what direction we want to take the truck. But now that brings me to all of you. We've got this Virgin Mary Onyx Black Denali Duramax, and it is a completely clean slate. So when you think Denali, 
golly, what do you think of? Lifted, leveled, lowered, wide, narrow, or anything else in between? I genuinely love reading all of your suggestions in the comments below, so drop some of your suggestions there. I really take a lot of those suggestions into consideration when building my trucks because it's not me that's doing it alone, it's with all of you. Man, we got double the Denali, doubling down with the Denalis, and now we're finally balanced out with two Duramaxes and then two Cummins, one being at the shop, one being right there. That one's gonna be really fast. The one that would be right there that's over at the shop is very big. That one is our newest truck. And then the question is, what do we do with this one? So I'm gonna do something a little bit different in this video. I'm gonna cast another poll. Over 14,000 of you voted for the name of that truck right there. It was between 8-Ball, Escobar, and Ramrod. As of this point in time right now, let's check it. We are at 57%. That means that over 7,000 of you voted for Ramrod. So boys and girls, I introduced to you Ramrod, the 1,000 horsepower Cummins. Well, I guess soon to be 1,000 horsepower Cummins. So seriously, guys, thank you all for casting your votes. I personally loved 8-Ball. I thought that that was really cool, and I thought that it would play into that truck really well because the 8-Ball like makes or breaks the game in billiards. If you play billiards, if not, no worries. Anyway, I thought that was kind of cool, but Ramrod it is. I think that's from what? Super Troopers or something like that back in the day? I don't know. I can't recall. I think it was that movie. Now, the big question we pose at the end of this video is what do we do with this truck? Now, I've already got a lot of stuff in mind, but I want to leave the direction of the suspension up to you guys. So we're going to do the same thing. Right up here is going to be a poll. You guys need to vote on what direction you want to see this truck go because right now it's a very open slot and it needs to get filled and I don't want to pick it without the vote of all of you. Now, once you cast your vote, we got to make sure that this video justifies the direction of a social cast. So this video needs to get 8,950 likes in order to go with the direction of that poll right there. If they both come together at the exact same time, I'm going to do exactly what that poll says. Should be a fun little experiment. So let's see if we can't get it done. Now, it's pretty cool seeing LML next to L5P, first generation of this body style next to its replacement. Some common characteristics, headlights are about the same size it's just the shape is a little bit different these are shorter versus those that are longer these are wider and these are narrower and then of course we've got the grill so this is the first generation denali grill and then the second generation grill was kind of a combination of this and this it was that style with those lines that ran across right there i actually really like that then we've got the different headlight styles but they still maintain the daytime running lights that look oh so good in either category now on the back end we go from incandescent lights to led lights and of course the overall size is very drastic now granted this is leveled that one's completely stock but these trucks sit considerably higher than these trucks right off the showroom floor but you still maintain that denali signature characteristic with the chrome touches throughout and honestly if there's one thing that you guys know about me it's that i love my chrome accents but you can really see how much of a difference tint makes there you can basically see straight through no problem to there where you can't see through even the littlest bit. And then of course we've got our awesome next base dash cam right there, which a lot of you guys have been asking me about lately and that thing is absolutely amazing. So we will be getting that corrected, but there's a lot to decide on what direction we go. Spoiler alert, I already did order a set of wheels and they're currently sitting waiting for me to get picked up. And another set of wheels will be arriving for that truck tomorrow as a matter of fact. So maybe we'll see a video to the vlog very soon where that truck's not gonna look like a total grandpa truck anymore. And then we're gonna make it fast really fast. And last but not least, I did get the stock Minimax seats sold. I will be going and meeting the individual that bought them tonight. So we'd be throwing a load in the back of the truck for the first time. And we're going to be making some room for a potential other new interior for, for that truck over there as well. We got a lot going on here, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, yeah, I love it. 2020 is feeling really nice. So that's where I'm going to wrap this video up. My likely league, I love you guys do cheat the best. Grab some entries. Wall quadruple entries are live for Dream Diesel giveaway number eight because they're straight up going to end in one week from the 16th. And they're not going to be coming back just for your information. Tap that subscribe button. Let's get us 200,000 subscribers. I've got an amazing surprise planned for all of you at 200K. It's not that far away. Let's do it. Hit that subscribe button. Trust me. I'll see you all in the next video. Tell me why do I still feel so alive?